What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Power Support. Shoot another awesome video, cause that's what we do. Man, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, Consumer Power Support, we review appliances. Today, of course, we're gonna focus on a Bosch French door refrigerator with the fastest ice maker in the industry. All right, of course, this is just the functions and the features, man. We're gonna dissect this appliance, man, and let you know exactly what can it do. You didn't purchase this appliance, and now you're trying to figure out some of the bells and whistles. When you press this button, what happens? What are some of the cool stuff it might have? And we're gonna dissect that by dissecting the owner's manual. All right, let's get into it real quick. So we're gonna let the video roll for a second so you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to see the model number as well. All right, of course, this is a 500 series by Bosch. Um, one of the top um high-end brand appliances that's made in the industry right now man so you can see it's a french door refrigerator with the bosch decal on the top right hand corner you do have your dispenser on the refrigerator door there as well on the left door but you do have the suicide doors that you can pull open as well and the freezer at the bottom all right so i'm hoping that you guys would enjoy this video as we continue to bring uh the stuff to you as always all right so right now we got the control panel so you have your super your fridge temper temperature your fridge eco vacation power um menu um, alarm on and off you have another super and you have your freezer temperature as well you can increase or decrease that so we're just going to let that sit there for a second as we dive into the owner's manual, man. Of course, you already know when we do the owner's manuals, you always want to make sure that you follow the important safety instructions, man. You want to read these before you actually um, start using the appliance so that you can get familiar with some of the safety features that you um, have on this appliance. All right. All right. So let's see what we got. So we're going to dive into... The owner's manual, this has a mixture of installation and switching over the door and installing the water lines. All right, so this is just a quick getting to know your appliance. So if we're opening it up and just looking at the details of all the parts and components inside of the refrigerator, this is just a breakdown of what the parts are called um, in each of the appliance. Of course, you got the refrigerator compartment up top. Then you have the freezer at the bottom. We just discussed that. Number one, you have your ice maker here. Number two, you have your ice maker bin. Number three, you have your dispenser. Number four, um, operating controls. That's four up here. Um, that's the control panel, water filter, interior light, rating plate, door pillar, and con condensation protection, partition with humidity control, vegetable bin, storage compartment for large bottles, cold storage bin, frozen food bin. That's the top frozen food bin, which is large and your height adjustable feet at the bottom. All right, so this right here, we have the operating controls. So like we discussed before, number one is your super refrigerated compartment with the super button switches, super cooling on or off. Number two, we talked about the temperature compartment. Um, you have number three, which is your uh, indicates the, and set the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, depending on where you are. And of course you can, um, the refrigerator compartment button sets the temperature of the uh, refrigerator compartment. You also have your fresh button switches from freshness mode on or off. Eco button switches energy saving mode on or off. Vacation button. All right, it says switches vacation mode on and off, so we could discuss a lot of that. You also have a power button. That's something that we probably missed because it wasn't highlighted initially on our video. But you can see that you have a power button that switches the appliance on and off there as well. Alarm on and off. It says switches off the alarm. I'm sure that's when the door is open. It would give you a beep to let you know that the door is still um, open. Um, any alarm or indication that you see there as well. You have your menu button to open up your buttons. You have your change filter button when your filter needs to be replaced. Um, you can switch the changes filter alarm off if you want to keep it on or off as well. Um, freezer compartment, same thing, switches to super freeze on and off. Freezer compartment temperature, that's number 12. And then your freezer compartment button sets the temperature on the freezer. So you also have a control sub menu. All right. So when you're diving into the menu, you have number one, it says sub menu display. This um, displays the setting sub menu, which is the CN. Then you have your sub menu buttons used to navigate through the sub menu. Then, of course, you can also connect 
with the home connect menu all right so this is also a smart appliance as well so we're going to dive into a lot of these things you have your light settings where you can turn the lights on and off number five you can switch from celsius to fahrenheit depending on what part of the country and if you're familiar with either celsius or fahrenheit you can keep it that way but for um normal operation i will normally keep it on so on fahrenheit all right number six it says display setting display the setting of the sub menu um of course seven deals with the setting buttons or change the settings on the sub menu you have you also have an alarm on and off button and you have a change filter button there as well all right so a lot of the stuff is the same so what we're going to do now of course dive into a lot more of the functions and features that it has so you know exactly what you're getting when you're operating this appliance all right so we can talk about the sub cooling on the refrigerator that we discussed before it says super cooling cools the refrigerator compartment as cold as possible switch on your super cooling before placing large quantities of food into the compartment for cooling drinks quickly all right so that's the benefit of it a lot of these refrigerators i've noticed that with the lg unit with the samsung unit a lot of them are doing a lot of super cooling um it's a technology that's been out for a minute it's not nothing new but they might change the name depending on the model of the appliance all right um it says when super cooling is switched on increased operating noises may occur after approximately six hours the appliance switches to normal operation all right so this is a benefit when you're using the super cool like i said it cools drinks a lot quicker if you're having company coming over you can throw a bottle of wine or something inside the refrigerator you can keep that juices and stuff like that you can do that as well all right um switching super cooling on and off of course press the super cool button when the super cooling is switched on the button is lit up all right another thing we can focus on energy saving mode all right it says you can set the appliance to save energy with the energy saving mode the appliance automatically sets the following temperatures refrigerated compartment is 40 degree, 43 degrees fahrenheit or 6 degrees celsius freezer compartment 6 degrees fahrenheit or negative 14 degrees celsius all right it says switch energy saving mode on and off press the eco button the temperatures are changed and the display shows the the new temperatures when energy saving mode is switched off the last temperature set is displayed all right so you can save energy using your appliance but of course you know that the temperature is going to fluctuate between the refrigerator and the freezer so you want to make sure that you are aware of that as well all right super cooling all right so we did super cooling already but we're going to do super freezing so that's what we need to go into super freezing so the freezing compartment cools down to the coldest temperature setting of the freezer compartment switch on super freezing to quick freeze food all the way to the center to increase ice cube productions all right and this is what one of the benefits of using a super cool you can make ice at a rapid rate this is one of the benefits for this particular refrigerator it's stating it's the fastest refrigerator uh, ice maker there is in the business all right so we can talk about that so it says when super cooling freezer switch on increased operating noise may occur so that's one of the things we talked about before so you want to be aware of that that is going to probably make certain noises after approximately eight hours the appliance automatic returns to normal operation all right it says so switching super freezing on and off press the super button when super freezing is switched on the button lights up all right so we can discuss a little bit about the vacation mode um and then of course continue to break down this appliance it says in leaving the appliance for a long period you can switch it to energy saving vacation mode the appliance automatically sets the following temperature you can see which is refrigerated compartment 43 degrees fahrenheit or six degrees celsius the temperature in the freezer compartment remains unchanged all right so it says switch on vacation mode press vacation mode the temperatures change and the display shows the new temperature empty the ice cube bin for hygiene reasons all right switch it off the vacation mode you can turn it on or turn it off press the vacation button the last temperature set is displayed for hygiene reasons dispense water for five minutes and discard all right so we're going to continue to dive into the rest of this video man let's get it all right so sabbath mode let's dive into that real quick so it says all non-essential uh, functions are switched off so you can also use the appliance on sabbath mode the appliance switches off the following super cooling super freezing 
um, interior lights, uh, water dispenser, ice maker, audible signals. Um, it says note background illumination of display is reduced in Sabbath mode. So it's just one of the things that you want to be aware of. It says switch on the Sabbath mode, press and hold the vacation button for 10 seconds until an audible signal sounds. This is when Sabbath mode is switched on, the alarm display lights up. All right, switch in Sabbath mode off. This is press and hold the alarm display for five seconds until all audible signal sounds. It says after approximately 72 hours, the appliance automatically returns to normal operation. Of course, this is a benefit for if you are <clears throat> of the Jewish faith, Sabbath mode is a unique mode that a lot of appliances are ingrated um, with this feature that they will have the Sabbath mode. Um, so you don't have to automatically um, put pieces of tape on the side of the door um, or turn, take the light bulbs out and certain lights um, for the Jewish faith. This actually does everything for you. So that's a benefit for this appliance. It's really unique and we really like it. All right, change the filter alarm. All right, so we can um, talk about this a little bit, but it says when the change alarm switches on, the change filter button lights up. The alarm is designed to switch on every six months. It is recommended to change the water filter every six months. All right, so that's one of the things that you must do with um, using the appliance as far as getting um, water that dispenses, it's gonna taste properly, or the amount of ice that comes out when you're using the refrigerator. You wanna make sure you check your filter or the refrigerator will remind you every six months and you just replace it every six months according to what the refrigerator is recommending. All right, so a couple things to look out for. If you're tasting the water and it doesn't taste properly, that's a sign that you probably need to replace your filter. Or if your ice cubes are really small, all right, so you want to consider that as well. All right, it says an increase in ice and water consumption will cause the change filter alarm to be switched on earlier. All right, so you want to think about that. All right, switching off the change filter alarm, change the water filter or replace with bypass filter. So you can also have a bypass filter as well if you don't have water connected to it or if you already have a water filtration system and you don't really need a filter. All right, so you can actually get that part. Uh, press and hold change filter button for three seconds. The change filter alarm is switched off and the change filter button no longer lights up. The water filter timer is reset automatically. If you replace the water filter before the change filter alarm lights up, reset the water filter timer manually. And here it is right here, note one, water filter timer running, zero, reset water filter timing. And of course you can go into the menu button as well to see all these different features. All right, um, switching the ice and water dispenser button lock, child lock on and off. All right, so we're gonna read a lot of these, but you can actually see some of the stuff that we've done in the video with this as well. It says the button lock uh, protects the ice and water dispenser from being operated unintentionally. It says when the button lock is switched on, no ice or water can be dispensed. The ice maker continues to produce ice cubes. All right, so that's a note. Press and hold lock button until all light bars light up. The button lock is switched on and the light bar of, of the lock button lights up. When the button lock is switched off, the light bar of the last button used lights up. All right. Light of ice and water dispenser. Note, if no ice or water is dispensed for a long period, the ice and water dispenser light will turn off. You can switch the light off the ice and water dispenser permanently on and off. It says press the light button, the ice and water dispenser light is switched on permanently and the light bar of the light button lights up. All right, another feature you have, we talk about the door alarm. Of course, it said the appliance door is left open for a while. The warning sounds is switched on and the alarm off button flashes. All right, so you can see that indication there as well. Switching off the door alarm, you can do that as well. It says close the door, press the alarm off button. The warning sound is switched off and the alarm button no longer flashes. All right, so you can do that as well. You can switch the door alarm warning sound on and off, so it's up to you. All right, on, just gonna read the notes real quick. On, it says um, on, um, switch, um, on door alarm sound, off, switch off door alarm warning sound. All right, then you have your menu button there. The temperature alarm as well, so we can dive into that. It says if the freezer compartment becomes too warm, the warning sound switches on and the alarm off button flashes. All right, so that's another cool feature that a lot of appliances are starting to do. I noticed this a while back in a, ref in a frigid air refrigerator. When the temperature drops, the refrigerator will constantly keep beeping, and that's an indication that either you need to get it uh, repaired right away 
or if you have a, um, a secondary refrigerator you can use, you can always transfer the food into that until it gets repaired. All right, always try to keep it a second refrigerator, man, because we understand the importance of refrigerators. When the temperature drops or it's not working, man, that's a lot of food to waste. So if you have an opportunity to have a second, uh, secondary refrigerator, um, always try your best to have one. If you're gonna upgrade, keep the old one, put it in a garage, put it somewhere where you can have two refrigerator. Trust me, it's gonna benefit you. All right, switching the ice and water dispenser and ice maker on and off. So this is another feature that you can actually do there. So if you are not going to use the ice and water dispenser and the ice maker for a long period of time, press and hold the lock and light buttons until all the light bars light up. The ice and water dispenser and the ice maker are switched off. When switched on, the light bar of the last button use lights up. All right, another thing I don't want to miss, setting the bottle fill water amount. All right, notice this. Again, this is on a KitchenAid appliance refrigerator that we had worked on where you, it's automatic filled to a certain bottle. Some of them, uh, Samsung unit has a dispenser, right? It has an automatic water tank or water um, bottle that you can just fill up periodically, man, and it automatically does that. It's amazing. Is that you can adjust the factory set water bottle fi uh, filling amount. The maximum fill time is 60 seconds. The light bars flash during the operation. Press bottle fill button. Place a pitcher or bottle under the water dispenser opening, and that's what the Samsung one has a pitcher. Um, simultaneously press and hold bottle fill and crush buttons until the required water amount has been dispensed. That is pretty cool. The new water amount is now preset to memory. Every time you press the button, the button fill button, that water amount will be dispensed. So you just want to be careful with that if you try to use it. All right. Another thing that we can focus on, this is a smart appliance, man. So the appliance is Wi-Fi capable. It can be controlled remotely using a mobile device. Note Wi-Fi is registered trademark of the Wi-Fi Alliance. The appliance functions without a network connection and can still be operated. Um, the appliance functions without a network connection and can still be operated manually via the controls. The appliance is not connected to a home network. The availability of the home connect function depends on the availability of home connect services in your country um all right so you want to think about that as well of course you can set it up um on your home connect right um do that a lot of functions a lot of features remotely do a lot of things um with this appliance uh, manually connect with the Wi-Fi. Again, we talk about smart appliance, being able to connect your appliance to Wi-Fi. We always suggest, man, being careful with this type of stuff, with this type of technology. Um, you always talk about identity identity theft and people hacking in and certain devices. So you just want to be careful no one is hacking into your refrigerator because it's smart enough to do all these things. You want to be mindful of that as well. And then you want to be mindful of where you're putting the refrigerator at times because if it's not in a good spot, then the connection might not be as strong. All right, connecting the refrigerator to Home Connect app. We talk about that, smart appliance, installing updates for the Home Connect software. So there's so many different things that you can do um, similar to like your smartphone and all that type of stuff, man. Um, as far as this appliance, man, this joint is really, really tough. We really like it, man. Really sweet. All right, so we're going to let this video rock for a little bit. We talk a lot about the functions and the features there. This is inside of the refrigerator, which is the fresh food section. We love in the shelves on the Bosch refrigerator. It's similar to the 800 series that we did. The shelves are real thin but they have a little bit of weight to them so we really like that because that will help you when you're putting stuff on top of the refrigerator or inside of the refrigerator excuse me then it's not as easy to to crack or break and it's not flimsy as the plastic shelves all right so we really like that and of course we like the um the steel in the background of the refrigerator that allows your refrigerator to cool that much better all right, so we're just gonna let it stop right there. Of course, we talk about your water filter that's on the right side of the inside of the fresh food section. Uh, we talked about replacing it every six months, of course. Your refrigerator is smart enough to remind you to let you know to replace it as well. All right, so you wanna make sure that you replace it every six months. You can pay attention to the water to see if it's discolored or how it tastes. And of course, you can pay attention to the size of your ice. All right, so we're just going to let this video continue to roll down a little bit, man. Like I said, we like the back panel that's stainless steel that helps with the cooling portion of the refrigerator because it holds a lot of the temperature, makes your refrigerator that much colder, and it doesn't have to cycle on as much. All right, 
glass. We love the inside interior of the unit. We talk about the crisper drawers there as well. All that is located in the, in the owner's manual as well. This is where you can see the ice maker, right? So we're gonna go into that and this is the, the left side of the uh, French door refrigerator so you'll be able to see that. So you can pull out the ice, the ice maker there. You can see inside of the ice maker. So we try to give you guys a real look of what it looks like on the inside of the refrigerator with the ice maker so you can actually see that and then of course you have the ice bucket there as well so you'll be able to use that and you'll be able to slide the ice bucket back in and this is the left portion of the door up top here is where the chute is where the ice drops into the actual chute and then goes through the door all right and then of course you have shelving that you can put stuff on there as well um, we like the interior of the shell, the stainless steel um, chrome that goes on top of it that you can actually see the shelving there. Um, that's a really nice touch and it has the word Bosch on it. Then of course you have the mullion, the mullion that sits here as well that allows the refrigerator to, when the door is closed, it can generate heat, um, prevent a lot of moisture from building up within the refrigerator as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. We really like that. Not all of them have the bat, the block, the Bosch logo on it, but we can actually stop here, looking at the the dispenser. All right, so you have your lock, your light, crushed ice, cube ice, water, and your bottle filled. All right, so we can actually go into that a little bit as well. All right, so let's get into some of that. We talked about a lot of the humidity stuff. We can let that. Um, talk about that for a little bit because I don't really want to miss that the vegetable bin the vegetable bin is the optimum storage location for fresh fruit and vegetables you can adjust the humidity in the vegetables bin via the divisions plate humid humidity controller and a special seal the humidity in the vegetable bin can be set according to the type and quantity of products to be stored mainly fruit as well um, um, as well as for a large load set lower air humidity many vegetables are as as well as for as mixed or small loads set higher air humidity notes fruit sensitive sensitivity to cold pineapples bananas papaya and citrus fruit and vegetables sensitive to cold you got eggplants cucumbers zucchini uh, what is that uh, peppers and then you have tomatoes and potatoes of course it says you should store outside of the appliance at temperatures approximately plus 46 degrees Fahrenheit, plus 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Then of course you have plus eight and plus 12 Celsius. Condensation may form in the vegetable bin depending on the type and quantity of products stored. All right, so that's one thing that you wanna check out for as well. It says remove condensation with a dry cloth and adjust air humidity in the vegetable bin with the humidity controller. All right. We have cold storage bin as well, ice and water dispenser. And all right, it says you can use the ice and water dispenser to dispense cool water, crushed ice, and ice cubes. It says to obtain maximum ice production up to 12 pounds in a 24 hour period, the appliance must be installed according to the ins installation instructions. The freezer compartment must be set to the coldest temperature. The ice cube bin must be emptied every three hours. All right, so results may vary depending on the operation, op uh, uh, operating conditions such as dual opening, food load, ambient temperature and ambient humidity, water pressure, and water filter condition. All right, so you wanna keep that in mind as well. Typically, your ice maker normally fills up the bucket within 72 hours. All right, so this might be a little bit faster, but we're not gonna deal with that. Um, we do have the dispenser here, operation of the ice and water dispenser. Bottle filled option, that's something that we already discussed a little bit here, there, but you can actually see it, right? How to really program it so that you can adjust that. All right, let's talk about the operation of the ice and water dispenser. When the appliance door is open, the ice and water dispenser stops and the bottom lock is switched on. To prevent water damage, the ice and water dispenser stops automatically after a period of continuous dispensing. Wait a few seconds before dispensing ice or water again. The ice and water dispenser stops automatically after several consecutive dis dispensing operations. Wait a few minutes before dispensing ice or water again. 
To prevent ice from falling on the floor, hold the glass directly under the ice dispenser opening when dispensing crushed ice. All right, so a lot of these things you can actually see for yourself as well. Um, some awesome feature that it has, dispensing ice water. So we can dive into that. It says always hold the glass directly under the dispenser opening. All right, so that's one of the things you wanna make sure it doesn't leak water all over the place. Because over time, what it can do is it can stain the stainless steel if water is in the drip pan. So you wanna to try to clean it up as much as possible because it can create an ugly, rusty look after a while. All right, so it says keep uh, press cube button, crush button, or water. Keep pressing a glass against the dispenser until a uh, dispenser lever until the glass contains the required amount of ice or water. Um, defrosting is something that we can dive into. It says the fully automatically no frost system ensures that the appliance remains frost free. Defrosting is not required. All right. All right. So that's a couple of the stuff talking about the dispenser. Let me see if I'm able to find anything else in there as well. Oh, and of course, we can dive into the filter here to change the filter, change the water filter, replace the bot or replace with bypass filter. It says when changing some water will drip from the filter, wipe drips up with a soft cloth. You can dispose the used filter with your household garbage. All right, so it says reach into the lower uh, recess of the filter cover, pull forward slightly and move to the bottom left. Turn the filter 90 degrees counterclockwise and remove. Insert the new filter in the filter opening to the, the stop and turn 90 degrees clockwise as far as it will go. Move the filter cover up to the right again and slide back as far as it will go. All right, so that's how to really install the filter there. All right, so we talked about the ice dispenser as well. A um, couple things if you want to look at it from the owner's manual, you can read that, but it's pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. Not a lot of um, issues there. You can see that, pull it out, um, the bucket and all that. So we don't have to really get into it. All right, so we talked about the ice and water dispenser, right? Number one, lock, light, cube, crushed, water, and bottle dispense. All right, it says lock button locks and unlocks the ice and water dispenser. Um, also light switches the continuous light of the ice and water dispenser on and off. Cubed, of course, you're getting cubed ice. Crushed, you're getting crushed ice. Water sets dispensing in water and bottle fill um, sets dispensing to a specific amount of water. Water dispensing outlet, ice dispenser outlet, dispenser tray, and drip play. All right, so, yeah. All right, so we're going to let this video roll, man. As you can see, man, we're trying to show you guys how to really use it. It's not a difficult thing to do. You can just follow the light when you press the button. We did also lock it so you see the light going straight there. So you try to press any of the buttons. If you have any kids that like pressing on buttons, you can always do that as well. So now we're in the freezer compartment. So we can actually take a look at that for a little bit, see how deep it is, how much stuff you can actually fit inside of it. It's a pretty decent side. I would say probably about average, nothing special there. All right, and then of course you have the upper compartment as well where you can put stuff in. Um, this only has one ice maker from the looks of it. I didn't see a second one. Um, we're going to let the video pause a little bit. Just let this roll down so you can see the, the whole entire refrigerator with all the doors open. See how big it is. Um, I do want to make sure that we go into the freezer compartment. All right, so we're going to talk about the freezer bin. It says cold storage bin, um, freezer compartment. Um, the temperatures is in the cold storage bin are lowers, uh, lower than in the refrigerated compartment. Temperatures below plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit may occur. Ideal for storing fish, meat, sausage, not suitable for salads, vegetables, groceries sensitive to cold. All right, um, note when storing food, a couple things that you can look into as well. Um, freezer compartment, the freezer compartment is suitable for what? Storing frozen foods, making ice cubes, and freezing food. The temperatures can be set from 6 degrees Fahrenheit to a negative 7 degrees Fahrenheit. If you got Celsius, it's negative 14 to a negative 22 degrees Celsius. The freezer compartment can be used to store perishable foods long term almost without any noticeable uh, reduction in quality as the the low temperature can consider considerably slow down or stop um, deterioration. Appearance, favor, and all valuable ingredients are largely retained. 
The time between putting fresh food in the freezing compartment and its freezer solid depends on the following factors. Temperature set, type of food, amount of food in the freezer compartment, quantity, and type of storage. All right, so that's something that we're looking to as well before using the appliance for the first time. A couple things, observing the drinking quality of water. We talked a lot about that as well. Um, so we're going to let this video rock and roll, man um because we're just about finished right, so we're gonna let this joint roll man you can see the freezer and the door snaps back that's one of the things so we are out of here man as far as the functions and the features man to this refrigerator man boss you already know 500 series i'm your boy richie rich and i'm out peace